What's up everyone, Wild Schneider Outdoors here, and we are starting on the first stages of the remodel in the trailer. So, typical me, got ahead of myself, totally forgot that I have a GoPro, but we have pulled off the lower paneling of the trailer, and we are starting to fill it with foam insulation. So this is R5, it's just that pink panther foam. So we have a one inch frame here, and in between that we're sliding it up into the trailer and it goes all the way up into the top here as you can see you get a nice good seal and then it goes all the way down to the bottom there so we'll keep you updated as we uh, pull these panels off we're only pulling off the bottom paneling uh, as it's a lot more work to take all of that off when you can just slide it up inside the trailer so yep that's what we're doing um, I'll keep you guys running so that way you can see everything clearly it's a mess in here right now but as we get it all insulated and get everything put back together, that's one step closer to having a fully built trailer. Partway update, we are almost done with all of this. Coming along nicely. Just a couple more pieces to go and get the uh, paneling back on. Also, first chance to use the solar. Got it all hooked up, so that way we can run our fan. Doesn't seem like much, but I'm happy. All right, so this entire wall's done here. Up in the front, We're moving on here. I figured you guys didn't want to see all the same thing. Take the panel off, cut the board, slide it up, put the panel back on. So getting that side, this here, up above the door, all around down here. And then we have something special that's gonna be going right there. So for anyone out there that's gonna get a trailer and do this yourselves, when you pull your siding off, if you had windows installed, check behind your plywood because it looks like here they just cut it and left all the sawdust on the inside of your wall. If any water got in there or any moisture whatsoever, mold. Lots and lots of mold. All right, day number two. Really crappy crummy outside, but luckily it's insulated on one side, so it's kind of warm. Got some help today. We're going to be finishing up this wall, making sure all the wiring's run that we need run, and then we're gonna put all of the plywood back on, seal it all up. All right, everyone, here we are, day three. This took longer than I thought it would, I guess, but every single panel has been taken off, foam shoved in the cracks, as you can see up here, right? The foam is in all the way up to the ceiling, all the way around the trailer. We got above the door, took out the old mounted light switch, have the wires running for our electrical system that we're gonna have in here. Everything has been done. Now I just gotta finish up a little bit of the trim work and get the trailer cleaned out. And then we have to install the cabinet, which we're gonna put there for the electrical system itself. So. We're gonna get that done today and hopefully have it all cleaned out and this portion of the build will be done, this video will be done, and then we're on to the next step which is gonna be framing in the bathroom, where the bathroom will be, 
and then also cutting more holes in the trailer putting vents in for the refrigerator and then the side vents for the refrigerator and the water heater so those are all in the mail thank goodness for our essential workers that are bringing us this stuff during this time of need but yeah we'll keep you updated nice and clean well the floor is dirty but cleaned up got the wiring plumbed through for some plugs in the front and the back got to get the covers back on but still nice and clean we're gonna get the cabinet installed get the wires run down into it hopefully get the electrical hooked up so that way we're charging off the solar panel that we're gonna put on the roof and then also have the battery in here and vent it because it isn't an it's an enclosed system but because it's inside the trailer you want to be sure that you vent it so we'll get a vent plumbed in make sure we have enough room to expand the battery bank as needed and we'll get everything wired up stay tuned here it is everyone nice big cabinet we're gonna have some storage in here just you know little odds and ends uh, we got the holes drilled up top so we can run both the solar panel wiring and the rest of the trailer wiring wiring through here it'll come in and come down here at which point it will drop into this cabinet here where we'll have everything stored and just cleans it up makes it look a lot nicer we can mount all our switches on the exterior here which will be nice to have so that way we just everything's nice and cleaned up in one spot have our battery monitor and all that stuff in there don't have to worry about anything so yeah if you like what you're seeing this was a pretty big build getting everything torn apart and get all the foam in uh, leave a like leave a comment if you're doing one of these yourself you have questions about what we used or how we did things go ahead and leave a comment down below I'll get back to it as soon as I can and if you're not a subscriber and you want to see the rest of this trailer come to life by all means feel, you know subscribe I would love to have some more subscribers on this channel just to interact with more people and of course share my experience with all of you so thank you so much for watching be looking out for the next one where we're doing the electrical wiring and the solar panel mounting and as always stay wild <laughs>